Hey guys, it's Amber here with eTrailer. We asked you what you're most concerned about in terms of storing your camper for this winter, and you guys said mice. So today we're going to talk about how to prevent mice from getting in your camper during storage or throughout the year. Uh, so I'm here with Jamie. Jamie has been uh, involved in an ongoing battle with mice for a little while. Um, so she's going to tell us some things that she tried, what's worked for her, and we're just going to get her take on it. So Jamie, can you tell us a little bit about your camper and the, the ongoing battle that you've been you've been struggling with? Absolutely. Uh, we have a 34 foot travel trailer. Um, our camper or campground, excuse me, is in north central Missouri, and we have two cornfields on either side of us. So you can imagine there is plenty of mice that that want a nice, cozy place to stay. Um, we probably started seeing signs about two years ago, and since then we have tried spray foam on the outside. We've tried, and of course, traps, cotton balls in peppermint oil. We've tried fresh cab. Irish Spring, which they chewed, dryer sheets, which they made a nest with, <laughs> and uh, the little ultrasonic plugins as well. So everything basically that you know the internet says to try, you've tried, and the mice were just like, thank you, we'll take this and make a nest. And pretty much, enjoy it. pretty much. The only thing that the internet did teach me that did work is steel wool. Steel wool, it's all about the barriers. Mice can get in a hole as small as a dime, so you have to look for every tiny little place that they can get in. And some of these are made with some pretty darn big places they can get in, like under the shower and things like that. Uh, and just plug them up, keep them out. So how much steel wool would you say that you use? How much is enough? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I, I've changed the gross weight of my camper. <laughs> it's gonna depend on how big your hole is. Like if you can fit your finger in it, you need more steel wool. And of course, you know, I, I, my tip learned is to use some gloves because it does get a little sharp. Also, don't just like stick the pad in there. What I like to do is I like to unfold the steel wool, fluff it up a little bit, and then shove it in. Like the more sharp, um, rough edges that you can make, the better you're gonna be. All right, thank you, Jamie. And with that, uh, we're gonna show you guys how to actually put the steel wool and the foam on your camper to create those barriers. We're gonna go over some places that you might not think of that you need to plug up um, and just show you how to do that next. So this rodent back expanding foam is gonna be great for the outside of your camper. And what you wanna do is kneel down and look for any hole. So any hole that you see, uh, you just wanna spray that foam in there. So you can see we've got some previous foam up here. Uh, we do have a little bit of a hole, so we're going to just spray right into here. And that foam's gonna fill that up and expand and harden so that mice can't get inside. So in addition to sealing any holes on the underbelly of your camper, you also wanna check for any other holes anywhere else in your RV. And that includes in your access panels, on the floor of the interior of your RV where the pipes are coming in and around the slide out. Um, so anywhere that you see any holes, uh, I recommend stuffing a big wad of steel wool um, in that hole. And around your pipes, uh, these little plastic um, flanges work really well. So you just put this around your pipe and it blocks the hole so that the mice can't come in that way. Uh, so this can be a pretty lengthy process, making sure you cover up every hole in your entire camper, but it is gonna be the best way to make sure that no mice are getting in. But if you have any tips or anything that's worked for you in terms of keeping mice out of your camper, leave them in the comments below. And remember, we're only a click or a comment away. See you next time. If you guys like that video, go ahead and check out our next video from us up here. Go ahead and check out an article about what you just watched over here if you want to read more about that topic. Or to see the rest of the videos that our team here at eTrailer puts out, go ahead and subscribe to our channel over here.